they don't deserve to see you cry. They lost that privilege when they broke your heart. They caused your tears to fall and they didn't wipe it away. You see, why you feel the way you feel is because you have not fully understood what you are going through and the power you possess to overcome it. Heartbreaks present one of the most excruciating kind of pain to the soul and oftentimes transcends to the body. It is as though part of your being has been torn away violently. The choice of words used in describing this experience, heart and break, remain very accurate. Because it is truly the heart that feels the pain and it literally breaks into many pieces like shattered pottery. Despite the Bible being aware of this devastating human experience that does not exempt anyone, believers or not, the Bible still goes ahead to make a promise in Romans chapter 8 verse 28 that all things work together for good for those who love God. All things, all things, including heartbreaks. As devastating as the experience could be, it doesn't matter. We are then left to wonder, how does any good come out? come out from having heartbreak. Well, you see, for those who have experienced it and came out victorious, you are not alone. You are not alone. Not the first, and you will not be the last to have a heartbreak. They would all boldly answer that, that the good that comes out from having a heartbreaking experience is the blessedness of moving on. The heartbreak may have discouraged you, put you down and cheated you. But your opportunity presents at last is your letting go and moving on. Moving on. Moving on after a heartbreak is a whole new thrilling process that brings out the better version of you. Herein lies the good. Lies the good that is worked out for you. But to move on and to see the good side of your heartbreak, you must let that hurt go. Stop holding on to them. How do you hold on to a rope suspended in thin air? Why? How and why? Holding on to things and people from your past that are not holding on to you is like building a castle in the air. Letting go of them does not mean that you are going to fall, but rather you free your hands to hold on to things and people that are holding on to you. That way, you will be building your castle on a solid ground. Those people looked you straight in the face and chose to cause you pain. And so stop making excuses for them. You gotta let them go. Truth is, They've already gone. They have left you behind. You are only holding on to a mere shadow of what was, or fantasy of what could be. But they're gone. They're gone. So you gotta accept that fact. Accept the fact that people enter your life for temporary happiness. Once they hurt you, it shows that their tenor is over. You need to let them go and stop trying to make what was meant to be temporary permanent. The person you are holding on to and fighting for has already moved on. You have been fighting enough, darling. It is time for you to be fought for. You have been moving mountains for this person. It is time to stop. Climb those mountains and stay at the peak. Stop crying because you think your son is gone. Those tears will keep you from seeing the stars. The star that will light up your life for a billion years. Yes, yes, they may have hurt you and the pain from that is inevitable, but suffering from it is not. Don't allow them to keep on hurting you. Don't allow them to keep on hurting you by refusing to let them go. Because then you give them the power. Then you give them the power. They hurt you once and broke your heart. Well, it's their fault. But if you keep on letting them hurt you and messing with your mind, then it's going to be your fault. You see, you have got to have this understanding 
and it's going to help you move on. Understand that you didn't lose them. They lost you. I mean, Jesus himself called you. He called you the light of the world. Matthew chapter 5 verse 16, that's what it says. And as a lie, you are precious, you are valued, you are cherished. You belong above, not under somebody's feet. You are the light of the world, not somebody's ping pong ball. You've got to believe that. They cannot keep tossing you. Keep on tossing you about and treating you as they like. Do not take that anymore. Don't take that any longer. You need to also understand this, this hard truth, that no matter, no matter how hard your heart was broken, the world would not wait. It's not going to wait for you to grieve. Even your own life will not stop moving. And so, will you keep on sulking over someone that doesn't even care? Or would you move on? Are you going to move on with your life? Think over it, think it thoroughly, and you realize that the ones who hurt you are not worth losing the rest of your life over. You should also understand that after an ending is always a beginning. Endings are never forever. The fact that things ended between you and that person, it means something new is coming your way. It means something better is coming your way. The same door they shut against you, somebody better will walk through that same door. And they're going to be bringing many tidings into your life. They're going to be bringing many good tidings into your life. And so let them go. Let them go. So you can see the person that God has for you. And you can open the door for them. The entirety of the idea of letting those that broke your heart go lies in you forgiving them. You may never forget them, but you can surely forgive them. Forgiving those that hurt you is ultimately for your own good. Mark Fisher wisely said, being resentful and unforgiving towards someone that hurt you is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. Why let them poison you with the bow that is unforgiveness? For the sake of your own peace and moving on, forgive them. Acknowledge that they have hurt you. Acknowledge that you are in pain. And then muster all the strength and courage left in you. And then you gotta forgive them. Let forgiving them be the last show of your love for them. Taking the step to forgive them shows that you're bold. It shows how bold and how strong you are. You see, forgiveness is not a sign of weakness. And it is also not a signal for you to get back with them. Nah. You can forgive them and still choose to stay away. So, they don't hurt you any further. Don't wait for apologies before you forgive them. Forgive them on your own, for yourself so that you can have peace. By forgiving them, you take the keys to your heart and emotions away from them. To forgive them is easier said, I know. It may be the hardest thing that you would ever do, but ask God for grace because you know that it is for your own good. Now you can commit yourself to becoming a better version of yourself. You are free and in charge of your life and emotions. Present yourself to God for his healing work. Let him mend your heart that has been broken and make you whole. Focus on yourself and your progress. The only way to go from this point is forward. The only way to go from this point is forward. It is too late for anyone who failed to see your worth before now because you have become even more valuable. Know that it is a process. The moment you let them go by forgiving them and choosing to move on, you begin to heal. Since you are a child of God, healing will come to you. For healing is the bread of God's children. That's what the Bible says. And so love yourself. Love yourself enough to let go so that your healing process can begin and the journey to a much better you can start.